Hey guys, what's up? It's Keith and we are live here in Essex Recording Studios just outside London in South End on Sea, England. And today I've got the brand new Apple Mac Studio. This is the M1 Max version. There's a Max and an Ultra. And I figured we're in a real life world-class recording studio. That is exactly the type of environment the Mac Studio is meant for. So in this unboxing video, we're gonna open this bad boy up. I'm gonna tell you exactly why I chose this model, uh, if I believe you need this model and who should be using it, and give you just my general reaction to what I see opening it up and seeing what it comes with. So let's rip into it, guys. Make sure also you click subscribe, you hit like, and if you uh, wanna buy me a beer, help keep the lights on here, hit super like. All right, now we're gonna open this up. So out of the cardboard shipping box, we've got this glorious Mac Studio. Um, I had just purchased actually the Mac Mini 2020 M1 model, and it did not come in as nice of a box as this did. I mean, you've got a nice kind of tote carrying handle here, um, significantly larger package. My understanding is it's about double the size of the Mac Mini. All right, so oh, it looks like I don't even need my scissors. We got a little pull tab here. All right, there we go. Ooh, very sleek, very sleek. So come on over here and uh, we'll see what you get inside here. When you open this up, we've got all of our, looks like all of our documentation in here and we've got nice, extra good packaging inside and uh, looks like a little bit of maybe tissue paper kind of covering this thing oh yes very nice and sleek so we got little arrow indicators we'll just go ahead and push that out looks like that allows you to lift up the unit all right this thing is super carefully wrapped i imagine this is uh, perhaps a the speaker that goes around this or might be some sort of ventilation. Very, very cool. It is about twice as thick as the Mac Mini, indeed. All right, and if we look further in the box, at the bottom you've got this very nice braided power cable. Uh, looks like a million bucks, looks like quality. Awesome. And then aside from that, I think that's about it. You don't get a keyboard, you don't get a mouse, you don't get a monitor. This is a very portable unit that's just meant to go um, and plug into whatever your existing system is. So, all right, so we've got that. I'm gonna just pull this out. Oh, how funny. No, this is just, that's it. We got a little bit of uh, paperwork in here. And an Apple sticker, that's a 2,000 pound Apple sticker right there. We're gonna save that one. Great guys. All right, now that we've seen this, let's go ahead and move this out of the way and get a little bit of a closer look on the unit itself. All right, so power cable there. All right, I'm gonna peel this off. <sighs> Sounds so satisfying. All right. There we go. And there's the unit. So you have this really kind of futuristic space age silver SD card slot on the front. You've got two, I think USBs on the front, USB-Cs, and you have four Thunderbolt ports on the back. You also have ethernet, you've got USB-As and HDMI, and you've got a jack for your headphones. So you've got a few more bits and bobs, inputs and outputs than the uh than the mac mini a lot of people have been crying about this sd card slot and they finally got it and if we uh go through our unboxing mess over here you will see what i also just bought from costco about two months ago the uh the mac mini right over here and look at the size difference in comparison it's uh it's a beast i'd say it's almost it's almost three times the size, but still very portable, very lightweight. It's something you could absolutely throw in a tote, a backpack, uh, a decent sized purse. You can take this thing absolutely anywhere. And that's one of the great benefits of the Mac Studio and why we bought it. 
All right, guys, so we have unboxed the new Apple Mac Studio M1 Max, and next to it, we have the new, newest Mac Mini. This is the 2020 M1. I just bought both of these from Costco, and yes, the Mac Mini did run this entire uh, studio facility. So I did not need to purchase the, the studio. The Mini has done a fine job, and in fact, the Mini before the M1 uh, the older version, was running this entire studio. So I would not say that it is an absolute need to have the new studio model for recording music. If you're getting into very, very complicated sessions with gazillions of plugins, um, it can be nice. Now, why would I buy the studio if I don't need to have it? Well, for starters, in the grand scheme of things, for the added money, you do get a lot more, like you get more storage space. And 256 gigabytes versus 512 might not seem like a lot, but when it's this type of memory and storage, it is expensive. So there is more that you get. 32 gigs of RAM, significantly more. And will we be doing uh, video editing and processing on this? We very well may. I mean, we're, we're shooting videos right now and having them edited. So this is something we can grow into. Both of these, because I bought them from Costco, I got heavy discounts. I think the Mac Mini was 608 pounds. Um, and the way Apple works is it's the same in euros or dollars. Uh, and so for the Mac Studio, it was 800 and I think 50 pounds, something like that. Uh, two years extended warranty, so three years of warranty and 3% cash back. So there was a bargain to be had that played into the role. And I did want two systems in this space so that we can run simultaneous projects. I also wanted these because they're quite portable. They're, they're very light, they can fit in a backpack. Um, I can take them anywhere. So if I need to move one of these to a different room within the facility, no problem. I don't have a giant screen that I have to go carry around and risk smashing and breaking with, uh, you know, like, like the, 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 the Mac Pros. And uh, as far as a laptop goes, well, uh, again, we already have nice monitors and we have nice uh, mice and keyboards here. So I didn't need that capability. And these are just as portable, in fact, more so. I mean, both of these are super tiny. They can fit in your carry-on uh, if you're flying somewhere, no problem. And it is pretty awesome that you can transport an entire recording studio's worth of data and projects and everything. I mean, in something that's pretty much the size of the palm of my hand as far as dimensions go across. Is it overkill for the home user? Absolutely. I would say the added spec is more suited towards graphics. So if you're doing any sort of rendering, 3D, any sort of um, intensive long videos, you, you might wanna go with the studio, even if you do have um, uh, a home setup operation or small business. And I mean, compared to what else is out there at the similar price point, I don't think it is a lot of money. I think you get a lot for, a lot of bang for your buck, as we say back in the States where I'm from. The added interface units, like the SD cards and the USB-Cs in the front and the Thunderbolts in the back. I do like all the extra Thunderbolts in the back. You can buy dongles, you can buy extensions that like mount underneath the Mac Mini that essentially give you all of those features. So uh, best value for money, I'm still gonna say, Mac Mini 2020 M1 at uh, about a third of the price of this. It does everything we need to do in the studio. We absolutely did not, we could have just bought another one of these and we would have been fine. That being said, uh, we want the bragging rights for having the latest and greatest a little bit. And um, we are going to start pushing the limits both with sound production and we do wanna get into video production and editing. And I think that is where you'll see a dramatic difference between the two units is that heavy graphic processing, any sort of after effects, special effects, 3D rendering, any stuff like that. Definitely you will notice a difference here. And on any sort of sessions that are super, super heavy on plugins, um, when you're getting like 80 tracks, 100 tracks deep, I imagine we will see a bit more stability and speed coming out of this unit. And um, that's, that's where we're at. So if you're at home, you're totally fine with the Mac M1 2020. If, if you're on a budget, for sure, 
buy one of these, buy two of these, buy three of them. You'll still be less than this. If you have clients that you need to impress and um, having the, the, the latest and greatest is important, which it kind of is in our environment, then I think it's still tremendous value for the Mac Studio. You get a lot of bang for your buck. I think it will, I think this is something that, I mean, six years from now, we'll still be running this whole place, no problem at all. And do shop around, because there are retailers that give you discounts, like I said. Uh, John Lewis gives discounts. Over here, Costco gives the best discount, plus 3% cash back, plus two years extended warranty. That's why I use them for both of these. And that is my little unboxing review feedback about the new Apple Mac Studio, as well as a comparison with the Mac Mini 2020. Both have M1 chips, but this has the M1 Max, which is significantly greater than the, uh, the one from two years ago. If uh, this was really helpful for you, give us some like, give us some love in the comments, uh, hit a super like if you want, and make sure you subscribe because we're gonna do lots of these unboxing videos. I'm always tell you uh, what I get, why I got it, if I think you need it, and how it relates to a recording studio in the world of music and uh, recording production and working with artists and all that great jazz. So thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching the video. Follow us on all the socials at Essex Recording Studios. That's Instagram, Twitter, Base Space, all that cool stuff. And I'll see you next time. Later, guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you wanna see more content from the studio, click up here and up here to see the latest vids. And make sure you join our family by clicking subscribe and like one of these two. Thanks a lot, guys. And if you really liked what you saw, hit super like. See you next time.